Why is it important to stage your home before the sale of your house? Let's talk about some useful tips on how you can stage your home uh, on any budget. And this is for a home at any price point, whether you're selling a home for 300,000 or 3 million, these tips will be useful. Because why is it really that we encourage, uh, we agents encourage uh, to stage a home? It's because we want to depersonalize the home in a way that when potential buyers are walking into your home, they can immediately and vision, uh, visualize themselves in your home. If potential buyers are walking into your home and they see lots of personal items and the home is uh, not staged well enough, it gives them a message that maybe this is not somewhere where they would want to uh, raise their family, live and move to. It's really, uh, it sometimes can be really a deal breaker with staging your home properly. So the first thing you'd want to do when you're staging a home, and this is really something that you can do with a professional stager, or you can do it yourself with the advice of um, a great agent. And agents walk into homes um, every single week and they know what uh, excites the buyers, what makes them uh, feel emotional and excited and what makes them feel not so crazy about the home. So they have experience in um, the staging process. So let's go over the first uh, tip, which is to depersonalize your home. And this is not to offend you and remove you from the equation and to depersonalize you as the person. It's to prepare your home for the next step on its journey. Because remember, you are selling your home, which means that in a month or two, you will be moving out of that house completely. You'll be saying goodbye to that home and it's time for that home to enter a new journey. And on that journey, this house needs to be depersonalized, which means that you will be taking down any family photos, any personal items, any religious um, decorations, and this is not to judge you at all, but it's just, we really want to, the home to be neutral and appealing to um, a wider variety, a wider range of buyers. The next really important um, aspect of staging your home, even without a stager, is decluttering. And this is probably going to overwhelm some people, but if you take the time to declutter your home uh, over a period of time before you put the house on the market, it's going to be it's going to be so much easier to to do this. So do this in stages. And if you're scheduled to declutter your home over one weekend, it's just going to be too overwhelming. Sellers do give agents a certain amount of time uh, before the house gets listed, but before you even talk to an agent and you start to think about moving, uh, start to think about uh, decluttering your home. And when I say decluttering, what do I mean by that? I mean that probably 30 to 40% of items in your home should go into storage already. Some things should go into boxes. So you will be removing furniture, certain elements of decor in your home as well, so that uh, at one point you're allowing for the home to be revealed more. There's going to be more space in the home. The home will visually become more uh, spacious. For example, if you have a beautiful kitchen um, and a beautiful countertop, remove anything from that countertop, uh, leave it completely uh, empty, maybe just put a bowl of lemons in a glass bowl to accentuate, but just remove anything so that you can expose and showcase that countertop and the kitchen in the best light possible. The next super important trick, and it's a great hack, is to remove all your linens and towels and place 
white linens and white towels and bathrooms and bedrooms. And this doesn't have to be, be a big project. You can um, cover certain things with a white comforter or white duvet cover, but um, it does make a great difference um, in terms of photography and video when you enhance your home with a neutral palette. It just makes the pictures stand out so much more. Your home becomes brighter, lighter. It gives it that looks feeling that luxury. I mean, think about walking into um, a luxury hotel where everything is also most of the time neutral with um, white towels and white sheets. Um, it's, it's great for um, showings, but in all honesty, we also want to focus on the photography and how your home is going to show in the photos because photos are the most important aspect of uh, showcasing your home. Another great tip for enhancing your home, once you remove some of the furniture and you declutter and you depersonalize is, and this is also great for photography and video is put some greenery. You can use a fresh greenery, some plants that are not too, too expensive, or you can even use uh, fake plants. But greenery um, put uh, up against neutral palette, it just makes the room look so much more expensive and so much more light and visually appealing. We, we are really trying to stay away from too much color because you don't want the buyers to look at your photos and focus in on one color. Let's say you have a white couch and greenery behind it and then you put one yellow pillow on the couch and that person will be focusing just on that pillow. It's just psychology. So we want to make sure that everything stays as elegant and um, seamless as possible. A great hack from designers in decorating your home and we're not decorating here, we're staging. So in staging, we're removing things, uh, but we do want to leave certain things um, in the in the home as some element of decor. And uh, a great hack from uh, stages and designers is the rule of three. When you are placing uh, items of decor, you place three items together. Let's say you put um, a vase on a mantle and then you put uh, another piece of uh, decoration next to it that's a little bit larger and then something slightly smaller next to it. So you're placing three items together. And this could be different sizes, different textures, uh, different uh, elements, but you don't want to do more than three. So again, we're not decorating, we are emphasizing a certain element of the room or a certain piece of uh, furniture uh, and are still trying to stay as neutral as possible. Another designer tip that's really useful for when you are staging your home, and this can also be used once you acquire new property and you start redecorating again, is the 60-30-10 rule. 60% uh, means that the main color of the room is used for large accents like uh, sofas and rugs. If you go in with the beige, everything will be beige. Then the 30% is the secondary color, uh, which is the color that supports the main color. And you would be using half as much of that color as the main color. And this could mean throw pillows, window treatments, and accent walls. And then the last 10%, that's your accent color. So you'll be using uh, certain blankets or maybe artwork in the 10% of that color. And lastly, do not be afraid to use large statement pieces as your decor. A lot of time the misconception is that uh, if it's a small room, we're going to be using small decoration items. And that's not necessarily truth. If you look at through uh, designer uh, magazines or blog, uh, blogs created by uh, famous designers, 
even in small rooms, the bigger pieces uh, make the room bigger. So opt for big statement pieces and large decor items, like a large um, artwork on a wall, a large mirror or a huge vase placed uh, maybe in an entry uh, way of your home. A great way to emphasize the entry way of your home is to put a glass table and put a, a vase with flowers that is pretty big on that table, which emphasizes the hallway area. I hope this was beneficial to you. Best of luck to you in terms of selling your home. And staging is sometimes overwhelming, but it can be done. You just have to put the hard work in and it pays off in the end, I promise. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. And don't forget to watch my next video.